We are getting closer every day. Oh my gosh. This house is almost unrecognizable in a really good way. Um, my contractor was out here most of today and he did a ton of work. It feels like he did like a week's worth of work. We demoed that dilapidated deck. We've got a few parking spaces carved out. We're getting closer to our grade in front. We are pretty much finished up with this new commercial drive that has been outfitted to accommodate big tractor trailer deliveries that I get. Um, my warehouse is going over there to the left of the trailer. We widened this drive super wide. Um, it was like a crushed metal culvert. I think it was maybe 20 feet wide. We've doubled it to 40 foot and it gives a nice super big approach in and then have a huge open area here we're gonna have a 10 by 10 concrete pad over there with a roll top door to receive deliveries so a tractor trailer would maneuver in here curve around and then have a nice wide approach so then they could back into the warehouse from here so we've widened this up, cut it through completely um, to this adjacent lot, which we have recombined. Everything is all one lot now. And then we widen this also. So they have a huge approach to exit easily. Um, this road isn't super busy, but it's busy enough. And this is the area where we call suicide drive. So. We've already, just clearing out those bushes made a huge difference because cars come flying around that corner. And then we're gonna clear out those trees as well. And then we'll get uh, North Carolina Department of Transportation here to approve this as a commercial drive. Then I can have commercial zoning for my warehouse, the farm and everything else, my office suites. Um, so I really do like this cute little um round half circle area here um landscaping is pretty much going to be falling to the wayside we're going to go basic you know just to get moved in but i definitely envision doing some fun holiday season decorations throughout the year here and the warehouse will be soon after we move in guys my contractor is amazing he made headway with duke if everything goes as planned, um, I will have electricity, permanent power next week. Um, that old pole that is really close to the house, and it, the lines were all tangled in the trees that used to be there, and it also impedes, if you see these lines going across, uh, if you've got a big tractor trailer, a big rig coming through there, it's uh, gonna get restricted by those lines. So. We're completely doing away with that power pole. We're coming overhead on this side of the street. Uh, they're gonna set the pole with a street lamp, which I requested um, next to my warehouse. And then we'll trench underground, set a pedestal, let's see, set a pedestal around here um, so we can have dedicated commercial power. And then I think we're gonna run maybe conduit to power the uh, shipping container office suites. Each one will have its own little mini panel. And then trench through to the meter base in the house. So those are going to be two parking spots. Uh, like I said, we're out of budget, so we're going bare bones. Just a temporary deck to get us in. Right now we um, just have the old stairs leaning just so we can at least get in and out. But I have cool visions for a really fun long deck there. Um, that's pretty much going to span the house. Some really modern, clean stairs, possibly add on to the right side, way down the line. And then, you know, we've got another spot here. This kind of connects to the back, although not ideal is our septic system is right there and the drain field goes there. So we've got those drain field lines going here. So you're not really supposed to drive over this. You don't want to compromise those lines. That is the reason we didn't do a basement. We originally were gonna have a finished basement in this um, 
addition, but we couldn't daylight out because we had to deal with these lines. We dug 14 test pits all around the property, and I guess none of the soil was really suitable for drain field except for in the front. We are permitted uh, when that septic system fails, that's grandfathered in, we're going to put a replacement system in front and we've got an area kind of over there designated set aside for a drain field. So we'll be okay. We've cleared out more trees here. This is going to be the start um, of where the farm animals are. I'm going to try to come up with some plans to um, build Fort Knox style hen house. Um, because of all the black snakes. I don't want to have my eggs and my chicks eaten. So we're going to clear out this. We're just going to clear cut because the drain field uh, lines are there. We don't want to disrupt the root system. I've got my new yard hydrant that we cut over. So it's going to be nice to have some water right there. And then this first corner over here is going to be where the barnyard is with the first phase of animals. We're starting with chickens and goats. Um, then we're going to get some miniature dwarf donkeys and then also alpacas. Uh, and then we'll go from there. And then that corner of the property is going to be like many, many years from now where we build. It's going to be like a really cool indoor outdoor venue where you could have weddings, events, um, indoor outdoor farmers market and then we'll kind of expand if I keep going with the shipping container thing. Um, I want to have a couple of little outposts built here, like shipping container style food trucks, where if we've got big events like a farmer's market, um, you know, and we've got big crowds regularly, say it's a few times a year, um, different restaurants could just try a little outpost where they come out just for that event and have everything set up for them where they could just have a little food truck without having to bring a food truck. Um, you see my burn piles there. My amazing neighbor at our other house is gonna come help me burn these. I was a little bit nervous about setting my pasture on fire um, with such big burn piles. So got some good weather going. That's gonna be this week, hopefully, if everything complies. And then my other neighbor, I have such wonderful neighbors. Um, down the street came and mowed my field. So it looks like he's getting ready to bail. He did step one today super quickly. Um, grass was getting pretty tall. So he came and did that. And I think, you know, coming up in the next few days, if the rain holds, you might see some bales of hay out there again, which is always a nice sight. We're doing some grading over here. On the side of the house, we had some wonky hillage, um, so we're dealing with that. Started doing some of that groundwork for grading there. The first part of the deck is gonna be built before we move in, um, but this is going to be where it's at right here. Oh my gosh, such big plans for this, but out of budget, so just kind of capturing the before. And this is even the middle before because before this was oh a nightmare um bunch of dying trees bunch of trash had an old rotted deck here that we demoed that concrete structure with dead animals and trash there um had a bunch of trees that were tangled up in lines and kind of decaying um and then maybe if we end up not building our dream house and just keep expanding on this one. I could see like a Four Seasons room, hot tub, maybe coming off on this side and expanding this way. Um, and then maybe wrapping around. So we'll see. The front's gonna be pretty simple, clean um, landscaping, some grass. The, the back is gonna be where the party's at. And then during the days, the courtyard and the shipping container office suites is probably where we'll be spending a lot of time, but. I can't believe how much this has changed in such a short amount of time. Um, even though it feels like we closed on the house forever ago, we didn't really start demo and work until, I mean, a little bit in May, but mostly June. So it's been June, July, August, and now into September. And if all goes well, we'll be moving in middle of next month. We get our final CO. One thing that I wanted to mention is we got three loads of this 
crushed concrete today. Um, it's kind of a newer substrate, kind of like aggregate, it's like ABC, but a whole lot cheaper. And it is amazing. Like it's a lot cheaper by the load than ABC. Aside when it's really dry and it kicks up a lot of dust, I can't believe how effective it is and how much of a bargain it is. So yeah, we had three loads of that dropped off today. Um, and Jay spread it all out and we're looking really good. I'm loving the way this is all falling into place for future plans and deliveries and oh, so looking forward to not paying commercial rent anymore and having my own building. That is just a dream. Um, there's been a bunch of little spots that I've been scoping out since we moved here to buy land and that's kind of what sparked this whole thing off and then we ended up with a much bigger piece of land that would also be our home so um some of the land that I was checking out in the area was really cheap but didn't have much access in terms of commercial trucks so um, for example the house that we live in now that we're remodeling has about three quarters of an acre that I can clear and put something on but there's no way for trucks to get up in there because it's so high up in the mountains so this is really cool I'm super excited and um, I learned how to drive skid steer it is so fun at first um, a couple weeks back I was just hauling trees and logs out to the pasture and it was a little bit jerky but today I got a chance to uh, park this thing as well as I brought um, some big stones and wood back to the burn pile and our rock pile and much smoother I'm getting the hang of it so yeah I really want to get <laughs> one of these skid steers um, it's so much fun. I, I'm still swooning from having a tractor, but now I've got my eyes set on this.